Okay, so let's go through a very brief introduction to Scratch programming language. I want you to go on, open your browser and go to scratch.mit.edu and once you're on this page, go to about. So here uh, you'll find all the information regarding what is Scratch, what kind of uh, projects you can create and I want you to see these two videos um, they'll go through the uh, introduction and a little bit of detail about what Scratch is and if you scroll down Scratch is all over the world and it comes with the 40 languages and you can find more information here as well and there are a lot of schools in US uh, and in, in, in Africa and uh, a couple of other countries they started teaching and offering after-school program uh, and courses in Scratch. So you can find more information about here. And uh, Scratch is used by especially uh, kids between 8 to 16. And but yeah, it can it's uh, used by people of all ages. Um, and once we get to that statistics, uh, I'll show you. Uh, later so yeah scroll down yeah just uh, browse this page a uh, lot of information on uh, there are a couple of uh, uh, quotes from parents and teachers what scratch can do and it will help your kids uh, this is a research uh, section and uh, what uh, latest research they are doing uh, to develop uh, scratch um, and I think in 2017 the scratch the newer version also coming so you know you get all the information here so let's go back uh, and I really want to go and check out the statistics link so just click on this link so this page as you can see it gives you the statistics of how many users are active how many page views uh, people are making on scratch um, how many projects people submit every month um, and how many comments they make and this is what I was talking earlier about uh, different age distribution so as you can see from ages from 4 years old to 80 years old so people of all ages using scratch yeah most people are between ages like I would say 6 to you know 8 to 16 or 21 uh, so it's pretty interesting here um, as you can scroll down also it's worldwide so the most users are on US and Canada and then of course it's dropping but yeah I mean it is scratch is new um, and it's spreading every day uh, if you see on the top part uh, monthly active users no no not this one sorry the monthly active trend uh, if you can see here new projects uh, yes yeah so there are 400,000 projects shared every month that's just pretty interesting statistics if you see monthly active users if you can just hover over this one project created 119 119 around thousand per every month and if you go way down if you can see here remix project and new project so we'll go through that remix and uh, what is the difference between remix and new projects uh, later on um, this is a comment area how many comment people are making per month um, uh, so you know projects uh, so every time you create projects you create games animation any projects you create you can share with community so there are once you share all the millions of users they will start commenting on your project and they will try to suggest something uh, they like your project they don't what they don't like about your project uh, what you should improve on so this is a pretty good uh, area on this website where uh, you can uh, collaborate with each other and it really will help you, uh, you know building your teamwork how to work in a team so yeah uh, let's go back and uh, 
so this area okay so scratch block usage so this is like uh, you know scratch has different blog yeah we will go to that detail later but uh, uh, this this is the main categories uh, block categories where you can uh, we, we will use these blocks to do to make games and stuff so yeah so the most so it just shows you the usage of this block and in in what category you know use most like looks and control and goes and going so this is the last one you can see the pen category it used the very 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 uh, list so yeah um so this is a, one of the good page uh, so let's go back up and click on explore so in on this page you can see you can create uh, different kind of uh, uh, pro project for example animation project art project game music stories and uh, you can basic uh, yeah, you can um, you can categorize you can click on it and you can see all the projects and uh, let's go to games just for example and let's uh, search for yeah you can also I guess search here um, let's go to a maze game for example um, so you can see there are different uh, maze game so there are there are almost over five million projects so it will be challenging here to search the project but let's just click on one just want to show you the example of uh, you know how the project looks like so once you click on this flag you can see game started now I'm I'm, I'm uh, on this game uh, okay so here is a is my small cat is driving around the maze and uh, you can see you can play so yeah so basically yeah this is one of the game you can uh, make uh, maze game this is very very famous game on scratch so yeah you can uh, you can see so this is one game but you can have you can now let's go and search for a basketball game or uh, uh, arcade game uh, and any kind of animation if you see let's go back to explore um, studio uh, we will go through what more what is a studio is studio is kind of a group of similar project so you can create your own studio where you can you can have all the maze game different kind of maze game um, so we will go to that later in a detail uh, and look and now let's go back uh, so this is a uh, exploring so just go through this website you know just go to this section explore and browse through different games play games um, go to different animation music stories um, so let's go back and uh, we are gonna go and uh, check out the discuss uh, area so let's say once you once you learn scratch and you are new to scratch um, and um, you want to start you start creating projects and you get stuck on something so you can say you can basically come here and this is a forum where you can ask for help uh, as you can see all the different sections here if you are you, w once you sign up with the project uh, sign up with the scratch website you introduce yourself here so people will start you know commenting on your thing they will welcome you they'll help you okay where do we you know where, where where can you start from once you start developing script you stuck on something you come back here you you ask for help um, and uh, you can have you can yeah there are a couple of different uh, section here you can go through so this is like uh, so many users are on this website every single day if you, you can see here there are a lot of posts uh, happen today um, so this is, this is a very active forum so you can just go through that okay let's go back to help so um, the um, scratch is you know used by parents educators teachers uh, kids um, libraries so uh, if you are parents then you know the, in the help section you can find all the kind of videos they'll uh, they teach you how to use scratch uh, if you are parents then there is a link here also so this is all the information uh, for the parents who wants to start teaching uh, coding and scratch to their kids so so you come here and you can see all the information here there are a lot of links here if you are teachers uh, you, you go back here and you can have uh, this is another section for teachers uh, just if you so scroll down this is this area which I want to concentrate on 
is uh, now uh, you can create account so ev every teacher can create account and but for this one you have to request an account first it's not open uh, right now so you just have to request and they will see your account and will they will approve you as a teacher so let's go back and uh, I want you to also see uh, a wiki page um, let's go back and scratch wiki so this wiki page is uh, kind of uh, uh, all the uh, tutorial uh, it's and uh, let's go back see, uh, see right there if you see there are uh, different blocks types and uh, different blocks shape and so basically you will find a detailed um, tutorial about scratch and how do you go around um, making project uh, if you see here in the tutorial uh, scripting so these are all the different uh, article uh, how, how what can you do with scratch so it will take some time to go through each of them and you know explore slowly uh, and also it depends on your project or on the game you are making or the animation you are making and as you need help you come here you search for a specific uh, article and it will pop up um, so yeah so this is a wiki area and uh, let's go back down um, and uh, I want you to also go to off offline editor so what is offline editor means is uh, right now you can create scratch project on online as well as offline editors that means you can inst you can download and install uh, software on your machine um, and uh, the reason is uh, let's say if you are uh, if you don't have internet connection and uh, and you want to work offline without internet so you can you have, you have ability to do this uh, so yeah um, but I would encourage to first use the web uh, online as much as you can uh, because uh, in scratch 3.0 uh, offline editor might go away um, right now it's not known but uh, it's uh, unknown right now but uh, yeah, we will come back to it but I would definitely encourage you to go online and create the project and uh, so but yeah if you have if you want to do this explore it just uh, you're most welcome and uh, okay let's go back to a scratch website again and if you go bottom so I want you concentrate on this one also so this one scratch family links are let's say if you uh, yeah this one is kind of a different website it goes to the different website so scratch ed gives you all the articles they write about scratch and what they are doing um, and uh, it will just, just educate parents and teachers about scratch and uh, this one also has a discussion forum um, but uh, this is not a most active discussion forum uh, than the other one so, but yeah you can come back and you can ask for help also here if you want to uh, let's go back and um, let's go back to scratch junior so so scratch junior is about let's say if your kids is four years old five years old they are not ready for scratch the real scratch programming so scratch junior is for kids under I would say five or under uh, they can just go and they have a iPad application as well as Apple also iPad and Android both uh, so you can install scratch junior on your iPad and you can start playing with the uh, uh, very smaller version of scratch I would say and uh, yeah, so just 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 explore if you if you can, and this might also change when Scratch 3.0 will come. So because it's going, they're gonna combine Scratch and Scratch Junior together in Scratch 3.0 when they will come out. Uh, so let's go back to the main page again, and if you can scroll down, let's go back to Scratch Day. So Scratch Day is uh, uh, they. Uh, you can host a, a, a meeting or uh, the conference and you can register as a host uh, in your own area in your own city in your own town and you can um, uh, spread uh, a word like uh, what is scratch and you can you can you know 
yeah, introduce Scratch to the your, your own community, your own city, town, or school libraries. Um, so you can come and register here, and also you can find an event in your area which somebody else is hosting. Um, so this is pretty good um, uh, section. I like this, um, and let's just uh, just for curiosity, I'm going to. Uh, search uh, how many events is happening in my area so yeah, as you can see Sugarland Texas I type scratch day uh, so there yeah, so there are a couple of oh this is California it's not searching properly I guess so it's nothing happening in my area I guess okay so yeah but that you get an idea yeah so you you know you come back here and you just search uh, and a lot of uh, things happen in California um, so let's go back and I'm gonna go down and scratch conference so here um, you can see scratch itself um, they they host a conference and you can see a schedule um, so they, they come out and basically they talk about what they're gonna do in the future uh, what are they will also introduce you to what are the uh, different projects uh, and uh, you, you 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 should look at it um, because there are over five million projects so they select a couple of important projects that people created and they want you to concentrate on those projects uh, to, to, to learn more um, so they, they just go through different uh, conference here you can see the schedule